I recognize that I have anxiety around messages altogether. Everything that you're making is lies. You're giving us a bad name. What's going on? Hey, Crystal, how you doing? And I'm giving you a shout out because I was responding to your comment and I got to the part where I was speaking about anxiety and just having this overwhelming amount of anxiety around notifications. And it made me think about a couple of things around that topic, actually. I'll just start by saying that that's what led to the burnout for me. It was the excitement, the rush of new subscriber notifications and new comments. Every time I look, it'd be good. It'd be something positive, lighthearted, something nice. It just, it, like, and I'm not, I don't need people to agree with me. Like, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, you can say that. That's fine. I just need you to keep your feelings out of it and direct them at the right person. So anyways, it was so many people that were questioning my diagnosis and calling me out of my name. Was those messages started to outweigh the love that I was getting. It was 5 a.m. and I woke up to go and pee. <laughs> because when you are 43, you do not sleep all the way throughout the night. I don't know why it's a bad habit, but I grab my phone before I go. I look and I see that I have notifications. And it was, you're stupid. You should delete this channel. Everything that you're making is lies. You're giving us a bad name. And I think that was the first time I had a white lady panic attack. And I'm being funny when I say that, but I'm being serious. It was the first time that I can recall where my heart was racing fast and I was just breathing heavily. I read this message before I got up to go in peace. So like, I'm there in the bed and I had two notifications. One was that the game that I play, it was time for me to go and collect my coins. So I collected my coins and then I looked at the YouTube notifications and it was like, yo, what? the fuck so my heart was pounding out of my chest so i had to apply those therapy methods those therapy tactics of reminding myself that you know what when i put the phone down that comment goes with it i don't see that anymore it's not in my face the funny thing about that is i recognize that i have anxiety around messages all together so maybe we should come up with some type of code system i don't know why my voice just did that but maybe we should come up with some type of coding or whatever to you know start the, the message off with an emoji so that we know that it's coming from a good place or something, or I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Back to my anxiety around messages. I can count on one hand how many people in my phone, I don't have their notification silence, meaning that most people that text me, their notifications are silenced because of the way that they text. They will send you texts back to back to back, and things that aren't really long messages, but they could have just been one message. And even if my phone is on vibrate, I don't need it vibrating five times. All that shit could have been delivered in just one message. So sorry to those of you that are listening that happen to have my number and text me. You probably are on that. And it's not that I don't read your messages. It's just that I can't take you messaging me back to back to back. This is not instant messenger. And that's the thing, too, about you know, mutual respect, because that might be the type of texting that works for you. And everybody else in your friend group is OK with that, but I'm not. So that's why I'll never address it with you. I just mute those type of notifications so that I see them when I go looking for them which is what I had to do on YouTube as well. And I just don't have notifications turned on, so I have to actually go looking to see that there's a comment instead of just letting that pop up on my phone at three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Because that was another thing too, is the messages, the hate would always come at that hour. And I was like, how are we in the same time zone? Why are you up at three o'clock in the morning with so much anger in your chest? Go to fucking sleep. All I've ever known is a hookup app to find love. So the way that you present, you would say that a lot of people assume that you're heterosexual or straight off top. Yeah, but we got conversations. That should be out the window. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah. Even if like they don't get to that conversation, they be like, "Oh yeah, you a little sweet. Yeah, you a little sweet. That's what they do, you know." And you can't be anything like is if you anything other than straight and cisgendered, you're gay. Well, yeah, of course. Trans, gay, of course. Like, <laughs> bisexual, gay. gay. Uh, Non-binary, gay. gay. Like you just gay, gay shit. Gay, gay, gay. <laughs> do you think in your experience, black men have a problem with intimacy outside of? sex i don't want to say i'm fine as hell but i'm fine as hell i could have anyone if i really wanted to you know that i like gucci prada balenciaga and things like that 
I'm literally telling you, I can have anyone, and you are not stopping any show over here. There's no sins as long as they're permission. And if I'm trapping you, I'm trapping myself in a relationship that I don't want to be in. I don't want to be trapped in something. I want it to be willing. I know my sex is good, but why would I want somebody to show up at my MVP game when I'm getting my award when I can have somebody who's in the gym shooting with me?